Hello everyone, I decided to do a review about a health information. This episode was, well, it was much different from any other stories with, based with Fluttershy as part of the main story. First we see that Fluttershy would help with Sakura to get some, some moss in front of the swamp, but when after she found out that she had a swamp fever. A new kind of disease. First from this cutie pox and the pony flu what else can it be? But I think this story of this kind of this episode has really interesting. Most of the stories of the show has well I don't know what to say, but this story of this episode was wow, was interesting and confusing, if I'd say a better word. And even to see Fluttershy, I think Fluttershy is most of the most main characters of this episode. And even to see something about her character is changed from the most of the episodes. Because in the earlier seasons they had, her personality is, well, shy, a bit easy scared, but, but in this episode, she is way different. This is actually beyond her own personality, it's like a snap of the really different personality. In the, when she runs, to the, runs as fast as she's to Twilight's castle and asks her for help, and even see Twilight cooking with Spike? I was actually more surprised to see it. We haven't ever seen that before. But even to see Twilight cooking with Spike it was actually nice, since we haven't ever seen that before. But see, Fluttershy is so worried about Sakura, and even after she heard about these symptoms. First, Bubbles, this lightning, and even turn into start to be different personality, and then it's turned into tree. Wow, a pony or a, a zebra turned into a tree by cause of a, a, a disease. That was something I. Wow, the writers of this show has really thought about something unusual disease and something new about it. Earlier the disease, like the cutie pox, they, it appeared and disappeared at Noah, so without any clue exactly how it disappeared, and how it has come from. Because other the story of this, that there are actually another few known cures for the diseases, but this one has none, no cure. But even to see Fluttershy would help with Twilight reading the entire library in the castle after book after book to find any cure, any reason, or any no cure, or any mention of this mysterious healer which Sakura mentioned about. And even not see exactly, see the burning passion in Fluttershy to help Sakura no matter what. It happens, even how much, even it requires her to not sleep. She actually spent an entire night in an entire library to find a cure, or even something mentioned about this mysterious pony. Then she found it.
and that see that Fluttershy really took the time to study and read all the books, and that she found out that it was the mage Meadowbrook who was the real mysterious pony had this well story of she cured any pony at all. But that's not all. That she actually one of the most one of the story from the legend of magic with some an ancient Christian hero. And actually something wow. We have seen a few others of main characters of this legend of magic in story from the book comics in this show so far. But it would surprise me if it would be seen more of them later in this series. Who knows? But even with Twilight's help, they travel to this bayou, try to find <coughs> where Mage Meadowbrook lived before she disappeared. He actually found a living descendant to Mage Med Meadowbrook in her own home. Can't tell was a descendant of her. She actually then with found some books which she wrote about when she was young, but even to see her herself as character in the show was something really an unusual odd to sight, but it was actually interesting. But even to see Fluttershy in earlier four when she found out that Cora had this swamp fever and now back in this mage, mage Meadowbrook's home, trying to find any possible known cure for this swamp fever, her personality was really changed over it suddenly. Except that why? She was not willing to give up Sakura because Sakura had helped her and her friend and other ponies in Ponyville for many times before, and she won't give up to find to find a cure for her friend, because she felt the guilt that she was the reason that Sakura had became sick. She felt this guilt that it was her fault that Sakura was sick and it was slowly turning into a tree if she couldn't find any cure for this fever. And I can really understand that Father Shy felt, well, <sighs> guilt and responsible for the course for her disease she had. I can understand she felt guilty what happened to her, that she wanted to do anything to save her friend before it was too late. Even though she found out that Mage Meadowbrook actually found a cure for this disease from sap bugs and or sap but bees or something. But exactly how she got it and did it mention in her, one of the books she had in her home. But most of others of that story, to see new characters and even see new creatures and even detail about another ancient history or an ancient legend hero in the show, but even more so that. I think this most focused on a, on a personality of Fluttershy. Most of her other personalities are that she is afraid, like shy, and easily scared, but in this episode it's much more different from the previous episodes. She's easily not scared as she was. She's tried to try to find the cure, but and then to the end, she found out she had a swamp fever as well, and she was trying to find a cure for this sad beast. Even she was sick, she couldn't even stand well. She was try forcing herself to find, trying to get this the honey from the bees, so she should then could make a cure. But. She was actually willing to try to force herself, even if she was tired, having sleep for almost a, a day. And with help from Twilight, they managed to get this disease. 
cured after they saw a bee on one of Mage Meadowbrook's masks in her home. Then they realized the mask was actually the reason how she could get this honey from the bees from the first from the beginning. But I think this episode, like I said, most of it is different from personality of Bloodshine earlier. She has always been this lit scared, shy, lit frightened personality. And even the quiet one. But in this episode, she's different. It's like she has a f I wonder, is the is the disease itself <coughs> cause it this her personality change or was something her bravery inside to make her heart and her brain start to act like to cure her friend before it's too late. And what what I think personally personally about this episode? Hmm. Well, I think this episode actually is really focused on helping others, no matter how far they have traveled, and especially to see another ancient legend of Questia, especially an ancient led more of a legend hero. Wow. Most of other episodes I've seen for so far in season seven, I think health information is more interesting of all other episodes before. And I will give this episode well not I stop with this star rating, I will give this A minus. Well that was like the same. Subscribe, leave a comment, and as always, this is Switch Diablo over and out.